Hello there, welcome to Let's Analyze with Ayat. And in today's video, I'll be transforming this report from this to this. I'll start by selecting my color theme. And most times when I want to select a color theme, I use Adobe Colors to explore different trending color themes. I also use Colo. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's Colo. Colo to explore different colors. You can also create your own colors using the color wheel. I'll drop the link in the description below. So I've selected my color codes. I'll go ahead to add them in Power BI. So I'll go to the Views pane and under Themes, I'll create a custom color theme. I just selected purple. I'll also add the color codes in the description below in case you want to use it. I've added my color themes. I'll go ahead and apply. So after selecting my colors, I sketch what my report is going to look like. I don't always sketch, but for best practices, I do. Now I'll create a background. My background color should be, shouldn't be too bright. So I'm going to go in with an ash color. I already added that to my color theme. So under my visualization pane, in the canvas background, I'll just add the ash. Let's go with this one. And reduce the transparency. Okay. So this is not too bright. So I'm going to add my shapes. You go ahead and add your shapes. I want to add the shape for the title. I also add the shape for each um, chart. But let's add for the title first. Change the color to white. Plain white. And also we don't need the borders so we can just switch it off. Okay, so this is, this is okay. But we need to make the corners rounded. Instead of having a sharp edge, we need rounded corners. So in the formatting pane, go ahead to so give it a rounded corner. Let's just give this 15. See, it's a little bit different. So now we need to add shadows to raise it above the background. We need to add shadows to raise the shape above the background. So under your generals, add effects and switch on the shadows so now we need the shadows to be at the center to be outside and at the center so we can just reduce the um, shadow color instead of black i just make it um let's say this ash okay so this is better now we need to make the same shape for the card visuals, for the bar chart, and also for the line chart. So we can just copy and paste this. So now we've created our background. We can screenshot this. So when we click, it doesn't have any effect. And we can also leave it this way and send to the back. So whenever you import your visuals, it's going to be behind the visual, not at the front. So now that we've created the background, let's go ahead to move our visuals from the first page to the second page. So I used the card visual for our title. I used the card visual and I imported the measure I created. I created the measure just for the title. Okay, sales performance 2020, 2011 visual. So we can go ahead and format the visual. Let me increase the size of font. Can be a little bit bigger. Let's go with 40. Okay. So perfect. We have sales performance 2011. Now we need to move our card visuals. Instead of separating one after the other, you can go ahead and select all the visuals. 
and your formats tab you add, you distribute horizontally so let's go ahead to format the card visual under the visualization pane you format the color value let's make it purple and increase the fonts to like 35 yes and also the category label let's make it black increase it to 14 or let's make it 12 and make it bold okay so let's copy this format using the format painter so you select the format you want to copy and use the format painter and everything do the same so for the height let's make the height and the width even So we selected all the visuals in the visualization pane. Go to general and from the for the property. Let's increase the height to 90. I think the width is okay the way it is. And for the position position. And for the vertical, let's increase it to 88. Okay. So now everything is even. So now we can now add our icons to the side. I already downloaded that from flat icon. So I'll just insert it as an image. For the money bag, let's just put in the revenue. So we do that for everything. Perfect. We now have our cards displayed after this we need to add our charts we need to move our charts so paste it in our second page let's resize this So we just need to change the title because the colors have been formatted well. You just need to change the title format. In the visualization pane, select format your visuals and for the title, let's just make it top 10 customers with IS with the highest revenue. Okay. So for the title, all we need to do is change the color to black or we can make this bold okay and this is perfect you need to move We need to change the title of this as well. So we we'll go to our visualization pane and our format of visuals. In the general, we'll change it title. Revenue by month name. Capital letter. So we'll make this said whiteboard. 12. And this is perfect now what we have left is our insights a recommendation we need to add this so for this we need to use the tool tip what we need to do is first download the shape so in your flat icon in the flat icon you need to search for insight so I, I think I like this I'll just go ahead and download it 
fait dans l'autre. Dans une downloaded. So now I'll go back to our Power BI report. And what I want to do is, let's just take this out. Now what I want to do is add all of this into the shape. First off, I'll insert my image. There's an insert. And let's move this to the upper right corner. And for this, we can add the tooltip by turning on the action. And under the action, turn on the tooltip. You can just copy and paste this. Copy this. Turn on the action. And under the tooltip, you can add it as a text. So when you move your cursor above the shape, you see the insides written above. But, but let's customize this a little bit better. Let's make it more fancy. What we will do is add a new page. And this for this page, we want to make this page a tooltip. Let me move this to the center. make this we want to make this page a two tip so after moving the insides to the center we need to make sure the page is formatted as a two tip so under the um, page information allow use as two tip so you turn this on and let's resize the page we need it to be a little bit smaller If we use two tip that's a little bit too small so let's just use a custom and let's so let's make the height 350 and the width 500 so it's aligned to the middle and also we need to add the background color so let's make the background color we need to add a white background to our inside so let's turn on the background and also add borders so we'll have that curved edge we'll make the borders white and also increase the corners to 15. Perfect. Now we have our insights in a box. So to get this inside, let's rename this page to insights. So let's go back to our visualization. We would insert a card visual, which we will put above the shape, the image. We'll create a measure because we want this card visual to be transparent. So we'll create a measure, new measure, and call this measure inside transparent. Which is equal to RGBA, open bracket, close bracket. Zero, 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 zero. So now we'll add this to our card visual. We'll turn off the category label. And for the color, we'll use a conditional formatting. Conditional formatting will be a field value, and the field value is inside transparent.
it. You see, we now have a transparent card above the image. So this card allows us to add a tooltip from a different page. So for us to add the tooltip, we need to go to Generals and turn on the tooltip. We want the type to be report page and the page we want it to be is the insights page which we renamed here now when you move your cursor above the shape you would see the insights written so that is it we have now transformed our visual thank you for watching